probably not the, uh, the typical student, as you can tell. Um, oh, before we before I start with that, one thing I, that I wanted to say to you guys, especially, is um, I wanted to commend you guys for coming here, because that's a it's a huge thing uh, to to give up your time and your money and your abilities to come here. And and I just wanted you guys to be aware that I'm sure there's been several people tell you that, but I wanted to be one of them as well. Um, and uh, before we came. Uh, I've got an older brother and an older sister, and they were they were out going on mission trips a lot. Uh, my brother goes to Africa quite a bit for some mission trips, and uh, my sister's been to Romania and a lot of other different places, and, and also trips within the states. But um, so they were they were constantly like asking us, "Hey, you should go with us. You know, it's going to be a good time, and you, you can help." And and we never really felt led to do that. We always were supporting those uh, those projects, but we never did that ourselves. And we could always find an excuse for it, or find another thing that we want, you know, that was more important to us. Um, I come from an AV background, so <clears throat> I did a lot of traveling in the states uh, with some with some of my jobs, and uh, about ninety percent of our vacations were were based around jobs. So we go do a job and then maybe take a day off or something. But other than that, my life was was based around work. Um, so. Anyway, um, a little bit about our. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys uh, thanks for for coming and giving your time and, and doing what you're doing because it's it's, it's very much appreciated and uh, and I know it's a great sacrifice for you guys to do that. So, um, a little bit about us. Um, we were basically uh, typical lay people. I'm an, I'm an audiovisual guy by trade. I've uh, been doing that pretty much just out of college um, my whole life. Uh, the last 10 plus years I've been working for uh, a consulting company basically as a sales consultant. We did a lot of church installations, that sort of thing. So I've been uh, with that business for about 10 years. And then uh, Holly worked in the, in the corporate world, um, insurance for a lot of years. And then she was an uh, office manager uh, for a little company before we came. Uh, what happened to us was uh, we were in church and they uh, they started a program called the B90 series. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. <clears throat> Basically, it's a, it's a challenge to read the Bible through in 90 days straight. So you go from Genesis to Revelation in 90 days. Now, that's way too fast, and they tell us that whenever we started. But it, it's they do a couple things with it. You get involved in a small group, uh, which was good for us. Uh, to give you a little more uh, uh, communion with it, and, uh, and then they had a video series, so they'd tell you what was coming up and give you more information about what you're going to read. But it was a challenge uh, for us to do that, so <clears throat> we went through that series. Actually, Holly was kind of the catalyst to it. Like, hey, we should do this. I'm like, man, I don't know, <laughs> but, but we made it through it. But what it did for us was a couple things. It got us involved in the small group, and it. Uh, and it really challenged us to, man, I remember these stories because I grew up in a Christian house and she did as well. And we went to church all our lives, but we remembered the stories, but it's like, man, I really want to dig into that. I really want to know more about that. And, uh, and th it's, it's kind of a long story, but through one of my contacts, he's one of the guest professors that comes here and actually uh, teaches. And so he was always talking about Hungary and the Bible Institute, and so I had gotten involved with him a little bit on giving him some equipment and supporting him financially. So I knew about the Bible Institute from that from that standpoint, but but that was about it. So when when we started getting challenged to hey, you know, we need to do something about serving and and um, and, and learning more about the book and. Uh, I never in a million years ever thought I'd end up in Hungary. I think I was telling you guys earlier, we've been here almost two years. Our initial plan was to be here a year and really to serve and try to study a little bit. The first year we found out pretty quickly we weren't uh, uh, going to be able to do both of those the way we wanted. So we kind of, um, the first year we kind of focused on the work uh, portion of our jobs here. And then this past year we went through the whole BI together um, and did, did the full year program, me and Holly. So that was, uh, it was, it was amazing as uh, Asha was telling you, um, the professors are awesome, the information was just unbelievable, I really have a much better basis for what I believe and, and why I believe it, um, and again, even coming out of a Christian house, uh, it's amazing what you, what you don't know about the book and you can always learn more, so, 
uh, it's it's been an interesting experience for us. It's been awesome. Um, uh, I wouldn't change anything about it. Um, a little different for us because we've basically left our jobs uh, and committed to, like I said, to the first year. Uh, and then we, don't, we weren't even thinking about supporters or people to help us or whatever. We were just thinking, I think we can make this work if we, you know, get rid of some of our stuff because, you know, as Americans we have a lot of stuff. And uh, so, so we did that, um, and uh, and now we're going into our third year, so we're we're going to be here uh, next year uh, helping. We're going to kind of shift gears again and go back to the uh, the serving role, but. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of our experience. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. I, I wrote a few things down as well, but um, uh, right now I'm reading a book uh, as part of part of our practicum is uh, after we get through the school year, we actually the the uh, summer ministry becomes part of uh, what you have to do for your degree program as well here. So so we're in the middle of that part, um, and uh, I think one of the things I've learned here is. Uh, uh, it's real. It's really about your personal commitment and your your personal relationship. And, when, and I've heard that my whole life. You know, my whole Christian life. It's like, a, man, I want to have a personal relationship with Christ. Doesn't that sound great? But do you actually do anything about that? You know, it's too easy to just go through life and say, "Well, I'm a Christian," but do you really? Are you really walking that? Are you really having that personal relationship with them? And until you, I think until you really start having that personal relationship that's, that everybody talks about, I don't know how effective you can be at doing other things. So the discipleship and all these other things that go along with, um, with service work, I think you have to have that first before you're going to be very uh, productive with it. That's what I've learned um, from being here. Um, but... Um, the book we're reading is called How People Change. It's by Tim Lane and David Tripp. And one of the things I, I read recently, um, one of the things that captured me was, um, we should never shift our efforts to what I can do for Christ. The grace and mercy of Christ are our very existence and should be our full identity. We should never be guilty of minimizing the work of Christ on the cross for us. We do this often by our pride and our focus on what we have done for Him and what we are planning to do for Him. And we're also guilty of basically just filling our days with problems and issues not related to this thought at all. Um, this, I thought, was a great reminder to us is the fact that we have nothing to offer Him. It was all given to us totally in grace and through Jesus. Um, and before we left, um, before we even made the commitment to come here to Hungary, um, we heard a sermon uh, from one of our pastors, and uh, he was talking out of James and... This is, uh, this is from James um, 4, and it's uh, in verse 13. Come now, who you say, today or tomorrow we will travel to such and such city and spend a year there and do business and make a profit. You don't even know what tomorrow will bring, what your life will be, for you are like smoke, or in another version it says you are like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you should say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. But as it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So it is a sin for the person who knows, who knows to do what is good and doesn't do it. And that really struck a chord for me is, is how short our life is. You know, I've gotten to this age of my life and, and I never really committed to doing something and learning the personal lessons I needed to learn or even learning the book the way I should. Uh, and, that's a, and that's a lifelong process for sure. But um, anyway, that's kind of our story, and uh, without translation, I get to talk longer. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, thanks for listening to us, and thanks for being here. Thank you.